Aim, you're getting caught in front of the ball. Get your ball, son. Come on, come on. Keep going. Well, how about that? Those are some of the tough looking soccer players. And get this, they're all moms. Local reality show, The Soccer Moms of Tampa Bay, wraps up filming this afternoon in St. Pete. Casting director Rose Rosen joins us once again. And uh, Rose, you've been here before talking about this show. Uh, pretty exciting wrapping up. And you were just giving me the background on how difficult it was to actually find the cast for this show. Absolutely. I mean, I. Nobody ever said my job was easy. <laughs> I go on social media, I send out flyers, I have troops of people just really combing through to get those proper characters that will meld together and form a cast. Because ultimately it's a show, mm -hmm. but on the flip side, we're getting real people to be involved in it. Yeah, and I was asking you during the break, you know, usually when you think about a reality show, you think about those conflicts and, you know, people throwing glasses, but this is not that sort of show. No, 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 it's a family-friendly show, so, so it can be aired anywhere, and that's nice, and I love the soccer mom theme. I think that hits a lot of people, um, but it's, you know, we're... I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess, well, and the, the interesting thing about this show, too, just the fact that, you know, obviously it's about soccer, right. but we're kind of going away from the field as well, kind of learning about these women and, and how they interact with their families, kind of showing just the everyday life of folks here in Tampa as well. Right. We've gone into their houses and filmed some of them, you know, and get it deep into their stories. And I love these women. They, they're a diverse bunch. They, they have every kind of story imaginable. They are aged 20s to 50s. Their kids are toddler to adult, but they have one underwriting theme. They are all moms. Mm -hmm. And do you think that's the thing that's gonna really connect to the viewers, just the fact that, you know, these are everyday people just like you, and maybe they're experiencing some of the things that you're going through? Absolutely. I think that is the, the existence of reality TV. These people can be us or maybe we don't want to be them, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but the, each person has something that people in the, the community can take. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second season, what can we expect out of that? <laughs> Let's get through the first season first. <laughs> get through the first, and I know you guys are still kind of shopping to some networks, so uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll kind of learn where we can actually watch the show as well. Yeah, we'll keep you updated. I really feel like um, we'll see this um, in the spring on air, and I think it'll be exciting. Okay. Um, but um, today, of course, they can come to the final taping at Al Lang Stadium. One o'clock, the doors open. Everybody can come. It's free. We have the most gorgeous weather in the country. So I think it's important that, um, you know, your viewers come out and see us. Right. Um, and they, they might be on TV. Great. Looking forward to it. Well, thanks a lot. We really appreciate you coming by this morning and uh, good luck with so everything. All right. And hopefully we're looking forward to an exciting first season and an exciting second season. When well, sure. Off. You know, all right. that's all great. Thank great. you. We're back in a moment. Stick around. Yeah.